Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Newtopia. I'm Cambrian Man. Um, I'm thinking we should probably head back to the starting area. Oh, hey. Uh, head back to the starting area, refill our health, and then head over to the... Uh, Um, refill our health and then go on to the next dungeon. Yes. Actually, I don't need to do all that. Kind of pointless. Alright. Okay, so... First dungeon has some dark rooms. I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy. I don't really Not a whole lot for me to look for around here. I believe there is a monk which gives a bomb upgrade, but I don't need it and I really don't know where he is. I did not actually find him on my last playthrough. Didn't find him on any uh, game facts or anything. It's not really a whole lot of information. Should be there. Secret passage. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to these people. Oh, probably a save point. Yep. Nope. Uh, this is a good way to tell that we are near the dungeon because whenever you're near a dungeon, you get told there's a save point. Yeah, it's this way. Oh, and then we got our wings back. Yep, there it is. Have the moonbeam moss. Oh, the colors are different. Huh. Which means that we can actually see in some of the darkened rooms. Oh, this sword now. Oh, hey. Just like that. See? Lights it up. I don't even know if there are any, uh, like, secret passages or anything, but I don't think so. Ghosts. Oh, ghosts can't be killed by, a uh, fireball. These guys can. Spooky McSpookerton. Uh, I don't think a whole lot to say in some of these dungeons. They're just, you know, walk in, kill everything, find everything, and go. Um, so as of the time of recording, I'm preparing for Ludum Dare this weekend. Should be fun. Some good themes up this year. Or this, this, this time. Oh, uh, yeah, the boss room. And it's pretty fun. I highly encourage anybody to try it, because, you know, the worst thing is you lose a weekend. And if you don't know how to make any games, I don't know, download... Game Maker or Stencil or any of those programs, um, really you're going to need to kind of do that. I mean, you can try to do it all on your own, but it's really hard to finish. I just do Flash, or I have them. You know, it just takes a day so you don't really lose a whole lot of time. It's not like a month of time or anything. And, you know. Well, if you're not aware, the contest is, is to make a game in 48 hours. Um, you must use your own stuff. Um, you may use external libraries and tools, but you can't use your own libraries unless they are open and other people can use them. Um, and there's a theme, and there's voting. I believe you can only vote on a on the oops on the uh, on the uh, whoa on the entries if you have already submitted a game. So, you know, it's kind of being judged by your peers. Um, probably a good thing because this year, uh, Notch, the uh, designer of Minecraft, uh, decided to join in, which 
is really cool. I mean, he is an indie game developer. I mean, you have to remember that Minecraft may be a huge success, but, you know, he, it's not like it's, it, it's really recent, right? It's not like he's a big name developer. It has been ever. So, no, maybe that was a locked room and not a, yeah, that was a locked room, not the boss room. My bad. But it looks like that's the way to the boss room, so we needed to go this way anyway. Yeah, good fun. Um, and I, I don't know, maybe I'll check out some of the games that are there in a short video. Some of them are pretty cool. Um, it's really a chance to be very... Oh, hey, this guy's actually got a pool with us. Jumping to Zeta, you made it! We are all thrilled by your fighting magnificence. I would like to reward your bravery with this bronze shield. It will protect you from the demons and their large arsenal of weapons. By which he means they walk directly into you. Yeah. In this case, he means that the uh, fireballs, and I think the little uh, spores that the... What's it called? The, the mushroom shoot. Are going to be blocked by this. So there you go. There are a bunch of shields. They're kind of useless because you have to, can't be attacking while you use them. It's just like in Zelda. Um, so I've never really used them a whole lot, except with certain enemies. Certain enemies you kind of have to, but you know, for the most, for the most part. Oops. Not really worth too much. Now, the armor does help, and the sword is nice, too. Yeah, see? We're gonna get another item in this zone, and I don't remember what the two items are for the next zone. I think there's only one, actually. There's two in this uh, sphere, the subterranean sphere. Uh, oh, I have the light on. I'm wondering why my fireball wasn't working. Two in this sphere, um, leave one in the next sphere. I don't... I honestly don't... There's a room right here, but I don't remember what goes in here. I don't think anything does. I think the only things go in... Maybe they do. Maybe there's something at, at the... for the end game, which I actually didn't get to. I'm kind of hoping for a cherry. No. Nope. It's unlikely. Like I was saying before, the uh, chances that you'll actually get life, <laughs> life up items is, are very low. Which is made up for by the fact that the uh, potions are so cheap. As you can see, we can just buy tons and tons of potions. We'll never run out. Should never really be without two potions unless we're. No thanks. There we go. Got lucky. Um. Nah, I'm nuts. Yeah, we should never be without two potions unless we are. Maybe exploring, we just don't feel like it. I'm really not gonna explore a whole lot. I mean, I pretty much just walk through the, the zones. There's not a whole lot to see. Which is not really different from Zelda, there's not really like, tons of things to explore, but the... Oh, this, uh, this room. Let's, let's just use our invincibility to get hit a couple times. See? Oops, no spores for you. Mushrooms. Now nah, these could not have ripped off mushrooms, it's too early for that. Really hoping for a cherry. Not because I'm going to die, but because um, because I like the upgraded firewall or fire wand. And of course, uh, it's like one of these blocks. Well, obviously, it's one of these blocks. 
dealing with any kind of the Lama and all that things where you do the dance of life or anything. This game is pretty straightforward. Now, Crusader of Senti actually is pretty puzzle-oriented compared to this, and it really, to me, does not feel a lot like a Zelda game. I keep talking about Crusader of Senti, but... We'll see. Not a terribly difficult game. But now we got our boss key, we can go ahead and take out the boss. Worst room ever. Is there a good way to stop this from happening? I want to sneak through because obviously those there's our spiky things, or at least we'll, some of them are. Which forget you? Oh, I can't forget them. Did I not? Yeah, I got the boss key. Yeah, there it is. Ah, yes. Nope. I guess I do need to kill these guys. <sighs> Hit it with my sword. There it is. Now, riddle me this: Why does a bedsheet ghost? Take damage when I hit it with a sword, not when I burn it. Oh, these guys. Kind of what you'd expect. They are probably one of the more difficult bosses, actually. Oh, dang it. Especially because. Um. Take a lot of. You still have to be facing the uh, projectile in order for you to block it. They take a lot of they take a lot of hits. Luckily, not super uh, difficult to, to dodge. There we go. What is he anyway? It's like a winged dragon rhinoceros beetle. Prize medallion. Excellent. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, that's the... Awesome. So, um, I'll see you guys next time. Let's play Newtopia. Um, I'm probably gonna off screen buying a Vitality Potion, because I don't think anybody really cares about that. Uh, see you later.